So in this video, let us see about the electric drives. First, what do you mean by a drive? Suppose you are moving in a car. What you will say? I am driving. So drive is something which is related to movement or system used for motion control. Most of our industries are almost automated. You can see this picture where the bottles are filled automatically. So to fill the bottles in a sequence, this machine has to be in motion. How to achieve this motion? Using a prime mover. So if you see in any production unit, you have three main components, a mechanical working machine, that is this one, and you need a prime mover to move this uh, machine and a transmission equipment will be used to match the speed of these two machines. So collectively we call these three as a drive. So this is called drive. When the prime mover is an electric motor, we call it as an electric drive. So let us see about the different types of prime mover. So the prime mover is something which will uh, drive the mechanical machine. So it can be a petrol engine, diesel engine, steam engine or hydraulic motors or electric motors. We are concerned only about electric motors because we, because we are studying about electric drives. So if the prime mover is electric motor, we call it as a electric drive. Then we will see about the transmission equipment. So this helps to deliver the power from the prime mover to the working machine. So example gear, belt, shaft. So all these are called transmission equipment. And then we will see what is a working machine. So it is a it is the driven machine that performs the required production process. Example, you can take a lathe, centrifugal pump or if you take a food mixer. So in food mixer, you have a motor here and this is the driven machine where you will put the food inside and this performs the operation. And here you can see an electric motor is propelling the centrifugal pump. What is an electric drive? The drive which uses electric motors as prime movers are called electric drives. So the best example for an electric drive is an electric car. You have an electric motor here which is connected to the uh, transmission system and then to the wheels. So this motor drives the wheel and this motor is controlled by the power converter. So this is the best example of an electric drive. In home you can say uh, washing machine, air conditioner, all are electric drives. And fan is also a electric drive because this is the control unit which controls the operation of the fan and these blades are actually controlled by the motor. The motion of the blade is controlled by the motor. So the ceiling fan without it blades is called an electric drive. If you include the blade also, the whole system is called an electric drive system. So this is a working bench which is controlled by the motor here. So this is the block diagram of an electrical drive system. You can see an electric motor connected to the load and the motor is controlled by the power modulator. So this power modulator will decide the operation of the motor and this power modulator plus motor is called the electrical die and the whole thing is called a drive system. And this modulator receives the command from the control unit which receive, uh, receives the command from the sensing unit. That is uh, in some cases we will be sensing the voltage, current, speed, position, whatever we want we will be sensing it. That will be given to the control unit which will generate the 
gate pulse for this power converter which will drive the motor so this is the block diagram of an electric drive system we can see that uh, most of the times the electric drives are mentioned as a solid state drives what do you mean by the solid state drives so solid state devices are used what is that semiconductor devices or power electronic devices are used here so we call it as a solid state drive so this solid state drive is a combination of power electronics which will control the electrical machines so the electrical machine control parameters are sensed and given to the power electronic converter so solid state drives is a combination of power electronics electrical machines and control system so solid state drives is a subject which deals with the control of electrical machines using power electronics now let us come to the electrical drive system so this is an example where the speed of the dc motor is controlled you see here the dc motor is connected to a rectifier so the rectifier is giving the dc supply for the dc motor so this rectifier receives the supply three phase supply so you have sources first so in this application a three phase supply is given then you, this is called the power modulator that is this rectifier is called the power modulator because the firing angle of the rectifier will decide the output of the rectifier which will decide the voltage applied to the dc motor so this is called power modulator and we are sensing all the Uh, speed and whatever parameters we know uh, we need from the dc motor we will sense it that is the sensing unit which will be given to the control unit and accordingly we will generate the gate pulse for the rectifier so this is the different parts of an electrical drive system so let us see one by one first if you take the sources electrical supply can be ac or dc in ac if it is a low power drive we can go for single phase system or you need three phase ac power in dc some drives will be fed from battery so the next we will see about the power modulator so we have already seen a rectifier is used for dc motor but you can use a dc chopper or anything depending upon the load requirement the power modulator will give the power to the motor and during transient operation what are the transient operation starting or braking or you want to reverse the direction so in all these conditions the power modulator ensure that the current and the voltage or the speed uh, everything is within the limit and it can also be used to choose the mode of operation of the motor whether it should operate in a motoring mode or generating mode uh, it will be decided by the power modulator there are different types of power modulator so you can see here ac to dc you can do uh, rectifier and if you want to convert from dc to dc choppers are there inverters can be used and ac voltage controller and cyclo converters are there for ac to ac conversion so ac voltage controller can be used for changing the voltage magnitude and cyclo converter for changing the frequency and we have different electrical machines so dc machines can be used or ac machines can be used and even special electrical machines are nowadays widely used the important part of the power modulator is the control unit which controls the operation of the power modulator for example take this diagram here an inverter is feeding the load and we are sensing the voltage and it given to the controller which will generate the gate pulse for the converter or the inverter here so only this 
part is called the brain of the power modulator because it will decide the gate pulse thereby the output of the power converter will change what is this controller it can be any microcontroller microprocessor or fpga anything which will generate the gate pulse for the converter there is an important thing to be noted in a control unit that is the controller the microcontroller which we are using may be operating at a low voltage of 5 volt or 3.3 volt whereas the our power circuit that is the converter and the dc motor are operating at a higher voltage so both should be isolated for two reasons one thing any fault in the power circuit will affect the microcontroller easily second thing power converters are a major source of harmonics that harmonics will affect the operation of the processor so for these two reasons it is always necessary to isolate the low voltage control unit from the high voltage power circuit this can be achieved with either an optocoupler or isolation transformers are there there are different uh, sensors available speed current voltage torque position temperature sensors depending upon the application one or more sensors will be used in the application so the points to remember here are electric drives convert the electrical energy to mechanical energy and power modulator is used to control the power flow to meet the load requirements and the important thing to be noted is that it is always necessary to isolate the power circuit from the control circuit so if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you